Hi everyone, and thanks for joining me for day 10 of the Holy Heroes devotional. Today's devotion is inspired by Hawkeye. A master marksman and longtime friend of Black Widow, Clint Barton puts his talents to use as the Avengers' amazing archer, Hawkeye. As the world's greatest archer, Hawkeye specializes in firing high-tech arrows with near-perfect precision and prides himself on his accuracy. In Avenging Spider-Man number 4, Hawkeye teams up with the wall-crawling webhead to track down the Serpent Society. And as the two heroes take out one bad guy after another, kind of working their way up the chain, Spidey gets increasingly annoyed with Hawkeye's overconfidence. What if you missed and that one got away? Spidey snaps. It's me. I don't miss, Barton replies. Yeah, got it, whatever, Spidey says, turning his back. And in the next panel, Hawkeye makes a surprisingly honest confession. I mean, I can't miss, the archer admits. What does that mean? Spider-Man asks. Hawkeye explains, I'm on a team with superhumans, in case you've forgotten. Even you, well, you climb walls really well. And if I miss, it means I'm just another dude with a bow. It means I've been fooling myself this whole time. And that's why I never miss. Ironically, however, Hawkeye does miss. Later in the same issue, in the midst of battle, Hawkeye fires a taser-like electrified arrow at a distant enemy, and he misses his target. When the battle dies down, Spidey spots the arrow lying on the ground, and out of compassion for Hawkeye, picks it up and tacks it into an already defeated villain. Unaware of what just happened, Hawkeye rounds the corner and celebrates, I got him! Ha! Nailed it! And this may come as a surprise, but the Bible actually talks quite a bit about archery. How, you ask? Well, there are actual archers in some of the war stories. Uh, King Saul was hit by an arrow in 1 Samuel 31. Ishmael, Abraham's son with Hagar, was an archer. Uh, Esau hunted with a bow and arrow in Genesis 27. And there's one story in 1 Samuel 20 that involves arrows that are purposely shot off target. All in all, there are over 50 different references to archery, bows, and arrows throughout the Bible. But even more than that, and what I find very interesting, is that the, the Hebrew and Greek words translated sin literally mean to miss the mark or to be off target, an archery term. Imagine a, a king preparing to go for, to, to war, and he calls all of the archers in front of him, wanting only the best of the best to defend the kingdom. Thus, he demands perfect accuracy. If you miss, you are dismissed. Unfortunately, even expert marksmen like Hawkeye miss occasionally. And the same is true for us. You know, all too often, we miss the mark, and we fall short of God's moral and ethical and spiritual standards. No matter how good we try to be, our lives always end up off target. Thankfully, there is one person who never missed the mark, Jesus. He lived the perfect, sinless life that we never could. And just as Spidey gave Hawkeye credit for his victory, when we put our faith and trust in Jesus, he gives us credit for his perfect performance. Let's be thankful and amazed that God, through Jesus, can forgive our sins, not just once, but every time we miss the mark. Let's pray. Jesus, I confess that no matter how hard I try, I still miss the mark. I'll never be able to live a perfect life free from sin, but I'm thankful that you did. Thanks for giving me credit for your perfect score. Amen. 
Thank you once again for joining me for today's devotion. And if you'd like to come back for tomorrow's and the next days, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And in the meantime, God bless and keep firing those arrows.